welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. Today's video is a bit of a special video. This is the uh, promised 100 subscribers video. Um, unfortunately I ran into some issues at the time but it's also the 1st of January so we're going to start fresh and this is the Mannequin on Parade. The Mannequin on Parade is the Northern Ireland Prison Service or the Forgotten Service as some people refer to it as. Um, why they call it the Forgotten Service because in relation to the troubles in Northern Ireland the RUC, the British Army got a lot of the praise and the, the, the spotlight whereas the, the Northern Ireland Prison Service didn't and uh, I believe uh, sorry 29 officers were killed between 1974 and 1983 in total uh, since the Northern Ireland Prison Service was formed um, 32 officers have lost their lives in, in service um, so we'll, we'll get to the, the actual uniform itself so the uniform as you see is a dark navy um, stand, pretty standard uniform for both Northern Ireland and the UK uh, which I, I don't believe there's that many di uh, differences they wouldn't actually say what prison they were in like they wouldn't have any markings or anything to say they were Belfast City Jail uh, Derry Jail whatever or the most famous one Long Kesh or the Mayes Jail um, or prison so they wouldn't wear any of those identifying marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and we'll work down. So as you see, this is just a standard navy, a dark navy cap um, with the emblem of the uh, Her Majesty's Prison Service, Queen's Crown and then the Royal Stamp. But if you see around the, the band, it's a wavy band, um, which is very nice actually, it's quite interesting. And it's got a double um, chin strap with the uh, Queen's Crown as well as the button. So the standard buttons on the actual uniform are the Queen's Crown. They're all Queen's Crown buttons with HMP on the shoulders or on the epaulets. Um, when the jacket was not worn or the tunic was not worn, they would have the same epaulet in, in dark navy on their actual shirt. This is a 1980s version. Um, the difference between the 70s version and the 80s version is the tunic would have had a waist strap. Um, about two inches thick with a big brass buckle or a silver buckle on the front of it and it would set between the third and fourth button uh, just here so during the 80s they got, uh, got rid of that button or got rid of that belt and they uh, streamlined the tunic as you see it's still the dark navy so we'll start from the inside out so you have the white shirt uh, during the 70s I believe they wore a sky blue shirt but don't quote me on that there's a bit of a mixed match there between when the actual shirt changed but in this time frame they did have a white shirt um, safety tie or a snap-on tie for the simple reason that if, if it was pulled or tugged in a scuffle that it would come away and not end up strangling the officer. Uh, so the tunic itself, um, standard, a, sta a standard security type tunic, a prison service type tunic, uh, slightly scalloped pockets, four pockets, two chests, two um, mid-drift uh, epaulets and it, it's slightly formed uh, for the waistline as well. So that's the actual tunic. There's no cuff um, marking or no cuff uh, embellishments whatsoever. When you get down to the navy pants, it's just a standard navy pants. Um, but on the left hand pocket, or in the left hand pocket, there's a double pocket, and one of them is actually for a baton or a truncheon. So that's pretty much the, the cover of the uniform and what the uniform uh, looks like, as I said, from around the period of the 80s. So just a bit of the history of the Northern Ireland Prison Service. They were formed pretty much after the, the foundation of, of the Northern Ireland state um, 20, in 1922. Um, they, they, the, the difference between the Northern Ireland Prison Service and the, I suppose the regular prison service in the UK is these lads uh, off duty, if they wished, could have been armed or were allowed to be armed. Um, because as I said, 32 of them have lost their lives or did lose their lives. Um, in service with 29 of those between 1974 and 1983 sorry 1993 um, which would have been the time of the troubles or rock banner so 29 officers in that time frame lost their, their lives I suppose the most famous of those was the um, actual governor of uh, the Mays prison himself was killed um, by members of the IRA I believe it was so uh, around this time frame as well, the 1980s, the, the famous, I suppose, infamous uh, thing to happen for Northern Ireland Prison Service was on the 25th of September 1983, you had 38 IRA prisoners break out of the Mays Prison. And at that time, it was known as the most secure prison in Europe. 
it was literally a prison in a military base or an air force base but it doesn't matter but it was literally a, a prison inside a, a military a, a base um, during that breakout as i said 32 office or 32 ira members um escaped um 19 of them were caught fairly rapidly um the other 19 uh, took a certain period of time and i believe one of them has never actually been recaptured um uh, there was four or three of them killed on what the IRA called operational uh, duty. Um, I think three of them made it to America. Or definitely two of them anyway made it to America, and one made it to Holland. Um, it was a very well thought out planned escape. Um, if if you actually look into prison escapes and stuff like that, it, it's very interesting. They actually managed to smuggle firearms into the prison. To this day, no one knows how they did it. Um, the IRA themselves won't tell you how they did it whether it was by crossing a prison officer's pan with silver, whether it was smuggling it in some other way, who knows, no one knows actually to this day. But unfortunately in that incident, in that breakout, 20 officers were injured, one was killed and two were shot. Um, one officer was actually stabbed in what they call the tally gate. Um, but later on, the post-mortem turned out that it wasn't actually the stab wound that killed him. He actually had a heart attack. He, he, he had a heart condition. But it still doesn't make any difference. The man, man died in service. Um, so, as you see, that's pretty much the uh, brief history and a brief look at the uniform of the Northern Ireland Prison Service. So, if you like what we provide here at Shadowhead Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please tune in for the next video. Please tell your friends um, as well to subscribe it really really helps and um, hope to see you for the next video thank you very much